Hey y'all, it's your girl Haley Elise. Thank you so much for tuning back in. We're back today to talk about my new job updates. And first of all, can we have just like a moment of silence and admiration for my smock? How cute is this? And it has pockets and it's personalized. Now, my mom actually got this for me two Christmases ago. She's such a faith-filled woman, okay? Cause honey, she helped speak this thing into existence. So y'all, no big deal, but your girl is officially a cosmetology professional. And I could not be more excited. Okay, y'all, so scratch some of that other stuff I was talking about. Y'all, life comes at you fast. As you can see in this video that I started, I kid you not, maybe three, four months ago. Fast forward to today. Okay, so this is actually really funny. I did get hired on at a salon, and I worked there for a whole day. I really contemplated telling y'all that part. <laughs> because it makes me sound so bad. It makes me look so bad. But it's the truth. I started for one day. There was continuously some conflict with the scheduling. Uh, as y'all know, I do have a day job. There's only so much I can do and I can give. But y'all, God is able. And when I tell y'all, my mama is the number one person on the team. My mom had this great idea about me starting to apply to like beauty supply stores because all of these salons wanted me to come in. Either one, they wanted me to work like full time. So like a nine to five, but y'all already got a nine to five in. And honestly, it doesn't make financial sense to walk away from it if I'ma just be really frank. That or they wanted me to work every weekend. And maybe this is the millennial in me but I don't feel like my whole life is about work and I'm not prepared to work seven days a week. I'm just not. And I think I also had to accept at that point in my life, maybe being at a salon was not it for me. And I'm not prepared to sacrifice my entire being for work again. I'm not ready to do that. So had to let that go. So yeah, like I said, my mama was like, why don't you start looking at beauty supply stores? And I'm like, you're right, like that's not an awful idea, you know? So I applied at a couple, literally a couple, um, and ended up landing one. So for the past three months, y'all, my timing in these videos are so wild. What I'm saying right now is gonna be really recent whenever you all see this. So I've been working at this beauty supply store for three months, but y'all, it's so dope, and I'm gonna tell you why it's so dope. Y'all, my skin hitting a little different today. I don't know if it's the lights or what, but okay. <laughs> working at this black-owned beauty supply store, The Hive Beauty, okay? Come check us out, <laughs> see what we have. It is black-owned and black-operated, and it's really lit. Like, I love it so much. I. I work from home in the day, so working in the beauty supply store has allowed me to get more involved in my community to an extent. Like, I'm seeing people, I have regular customers, but also too, y'all, I'm learning so much about products, and I'm actually really excited to talk to y'all more about it. In one of my other videos, or maybe it was this video, um, I alluded to the fact that, you know, I like doing hair <laughs> to an extent. I don't mind doing it, I can do it, as you all know. But what I really love is the products and the ingredients and like the science and the theory behind hair and all of that. Even when I was in beauty school, one of my very good friends now, she was um, one of my instructors at the time, hey Natasha, if you watch my instructors, and she's like, Haley, you don't wanna just sit up and do hair all the time. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. But she's so right. And I was like, yeah, Natasha, like, I really be in my bag in class. Like, I love learning about all of this stuff. Being in the beauty supply store, I believe it's perfect for me. But not only that, y'all, I get a very generous discount. But on top of that, it's helped me um, with the clients that I do have, because y'all, you know, I do hair on the side. I'm still gonna do hair, just not in a salon. So I be doing it on the side, but it allows me to try new products because I'm seeing what all of the other stylists and barbers are using. I'm learning more about them just in general, but also with my discount, I get a chance to try all of this stuff. So as you saw, if y'all watch my tutorial about um, my twisted ponytail look, in that video, I'm gonna actually talk about some of my trials with foams. I actually just got done recording it before I hopped on here. But anyways, um, yeah, soon I plan on doing a product review over my favorite phones. <laughs> Cause 
baby it was a trial and error all the way through so yes today that's what i'm doing i'm not in the salon right now unfortunately hopefully one day i will be in one or i'll own one or something like that uh, but until then yeah, I'm in the beauty supply store, I'm on YouTube, and I'm doing hair on the side. So I love that. I hope to get more involved in the industry as time goes on, but I keep telling myself it's one thing at a time. I'm only one person, it's only 24 hours in a day, and so I get it how I can. But that is the biggest update. <laughs> that leads me to my next thing. On the channel now, I do plan on continuing hair tutorials, but I also hope to get more into products with y'all. Tell y'all what I really like, why I like them, some of the products I have wrote off completely, as I began a deeper dive into ingredients and how products are made, what our, our hair actually needs and what it really, and what it doesn't like. And that's that on that. I just wanted to come here and update y'all about what I got going on and my new journey as a licensed cosmetologist. It's really funny because I can actually hear some people being like, okay, so you went through all of that to get your license and you're not even in a salon, sis. I'm not, and that's my business. That is my journey, and I'm figuring it out as I go. I think now that I do have my license, one of my bigger goals is to not only have a salon one day and get more into hair education and things like that, but I would love to dive more into like product marketing and branding and helping some of these beauty brands with what we're doing and what we're talking about with these products and what they look like and what we're putting in them is a goal of mine one day so we will see what happens but until then i'm starting with everything i have and one of my latest affirmations is that i am whole and i lack nothing and i'm gonna start with what i got that's all i've ever done and for y'all who know me y'all know when i first started youtube y'all didn't even get a widescreen honey it was on my ipad poor lighting, poor transitions. I didn't have real editing software. <laughs> and look at me now, so it is definitely a journey. And I think I'm also really inspired as well because a lot of the old school natural hair vloggers that I used to follow and that um, are still popping today, one of them being Natural85, I believe is her name. I think she has her license now. Um, Mono's hair is a whole licensed cosmetologist now and that really just gave me hope and they're doing what they're doing in the industry with their own products uh working with other brands and doing all of that stuff and i think it is super dope and i hope to be like that one day because there is no limit so make sure you drop your questions your thoughts your comments all of that down below and i look forward to talking to y'all really soon peace love and hair grease and remember healthy hair is good hair